In this video, I want to go through some examples of simplifying expressions. So with the first example here, we have 5a cubed b squared c times 6a to the 8bc to the minus 3. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with the 5 and the 6 first, then the a's, then the b's, then the c's. So we have 5 times 6, which is 30. We then have a cubed times a to the 8. Now, we have the index law x to the p times x to the q is x to the p plus q. So here we just need to add the indices. We'll have a to the power of 3 plus 8, so that'd be a to the power of 11. We then have b squared times b. Well, that's just b to the 1. So b to the power of 2 plus 1 is b cubed. And then c times c to the minus 3, well, that's c to the 1 times c to the minus 3. So we have 1 plus negative 3, which is minus 2. So c to the minus 2. And that's my result. Now, for the second one, I'm going to use a similar tactic. I've got 60a to the 4b squared c, all divided by 12a to the 8b to the 5c to the minus 4. Now, 60 divided by 12 is 5 a to the power of 4 divided by a to the 8. So for this, we need the index rule of x to the p divided by x to the q is equal to x to the p minus q. OK, now that's the same, of course, as x to the p over x to the q. Both the same. So here we've got a to the power of 4 divided by a to the 8, so we need to subtract the indices. 4, take away 8, is minus 4. So a to the minus 4. Then we have b squared divided by b to the 5, so 2 take away 5 is minus 3, so b to the minus 3. And then c to the 1 divided by c to the minus 4, 1 take away minus 4 is 1 plus 4, which is 5, so c to the 5. OK, now for this last example, what you need to look out for is that you need to make sure that when you're evaluate, evaluating sorry, 3x all cubed, you cube the 3 and the x. So this will be 3 cubed, which is 27, x cubed. Then we have 2x cubed all to the power of 4. Now 2 to the power of 4 2, 4, 8, 16. And then we have x cubed to the power of 4. Now for this, I'm going to use the index rule, or law, x to the p to the power of q, is x to the power of p times q. So you multiply the indices together. So we have 3 times 4, so 12, so x to the 12. Then we have 6 squared, which is 36. And then x to the 8 squared is x to the 16, 8 times 2. OK, so in the numerator, we have 27 times by 16, which is 432. And then we have x cubed times x to the 12. So using that rule, that's got to be x to the 15 over 36x to the 16. Now, 432 over 36 is 12. And x to the 15 divided by x to the 16, using this rule, is x to the power of 15 take away 16. So x to the minus 1. And that is how we can simplify expressions of this form.